one lucky pup. Where are we going? Penny asked. This will be fun, Purdy said soothingly as she coaxed the puppies into the car. I promise. Roger steered the car down a winding country lane. Puppies smelled all kinds of good things. They smelled hay and flowers. Then they smelled something sweet. Peaches. Here we are. I need to open the car door. Where's here? Freckles asked Lucky. It looks like an orchard, Lucky Yep. He loved to eat fruit. Roger stretched. Your dog is run and play, he said. We'll call you when it's time for a picnic. Don't eat too many peaches, Pongo barked, but the puppies were already running off. All morning, the puppies romped and played in the green grass until Pongo and Purdy came to, to call them. Time for lunch, Pongo barked. I'm not hungry, Rolly said, rolling over in the grass. I hope you didn't eat too much, Purdy said. The big dogs heard their puppies up the hill toward the spot where Roger and Nita were laying out a picnic. Purdy scanned the ground. Wait a minute, said Pongo. Where is Lucky? The black and white pack stopped in its tracks. Pongo counted them. Lucky was definitely missing. Don't worry, Mother, Pepper said sweetly. I have an idea. She turned to her brothers and sisters. They have pretty much sparked. We have to find Lucky. All the puppies yipped excitedly and tumbled over one another to find Lucky's trail. Soon, every nose was sniffing in the, the ground. Penny sniffed around a tree and behind a patch of tall grass. She caught the scent. Here he is, Penny barked. The rest of the dogs gathered around to see the puppy asleep in the grass. Lucky's ears covered his eyes, but there was no mistake the horseshoe of spots on his back or the pile of peach pits by his nose. Lucky is lucky we found him, said Purdy with a relieved sigh. And, Pepper joked, he'll be really lucky if he doesn't wake up with a tummy ache. Love you. Night.